Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message, and we're on the floor again with uh, Mr. Boo Boo today because he needs a little love and attention, a little TLC. And we're going to be talking again about another message inspired by Louise Hay that I've been working on a lot lately. And this is about being willing to change. And this is a really, really big, powerful intention and affirmation, and one that she promotes very early in her book at the beginning of any work that you want to do on yourself. I think we all have things that we want to change. Sometimes you don't know what it is and that can be challenging because you don't know where to begin. And if you know you want things to be different and you know you need to change, but you don't know what it is, you might not make any moves towards changing because you don't know where to start and you don't know what to focus on. So let me just tell you, it doesn't matter. You don't need to focus on anything specific. All you need to do is be willing to change. And this is just a great affirmation to use and to say to yourself in the mirror. If you're doing mirror work and you're doing your self-love work and looking in the mirror and going, I love you. I really love you. If you want to change or maybe you just want things in your life to change for the better, but you don't have specifics, just look at yourself and say, I am willing to change. And another thing that Louise suggests because it makes it even more powerful is touch your throat when you're saying it, because this is very powerful. This is the point in your body. This is the chakra. That's all about voicing what you want, putting your voice out into the world. And it's also a point of change. This is where you can make changes in what you say and what the intentions that you set are that are put forth through your voice. So touch your throat and say, I'm willing to change. Do it with me right now. Touch your throat. I'm willing to change. And don't worry about if you don't know what those changes are, because I have been doing this and it's really helped me in a lot of different aspects and stuff will come to you during the day. You're like, I'm, I'm willing to change. I did a me another message on stop criticizing yourself. So that's something that you could do. I'm willing to change this habit of being critical of myself and others, or I'm willing to change the way I interact with people. I'm willing to change my eating habits. I'm willing to change my attitude from positive, from negative to more positive. So you, again, you don't need to do specifics. Just be willing to change. Touch your throat. Say it often. Louise suggests that you say it 10 times. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to change. You can do the other seven by yourself. <laughs> so don't worry about the hows or the whats. Just do it. Just say it. And when you do it on a regular basis, you will notice that you are changing and things around you are changing and the people around you are responding to you differently. So it's a very simple practice. This is a very simple message about this today. I'm willing to change. It's, it's even pretty amazing to feel the vibration in your voice when you're saying it. So do it with me again. I'm willing to change and just keep doing that. And Know that those changes are going to be positive and expect positive changes from doing this practice on a regular basis. And it's one that I, I'm really enjoying. And, uh, you know, a lot of these things I haven't done since I first read Louise's book. Uh, you know, I first found it in 1988 and I reread it every year for many years and I'm overdue for a rereading. So I am rereading it right now and everything is just resonating with me so strongly and in a different way. And maybe if you have her book and you read it a long time ago, read it again. And I'm talking about You Can Heal Your Life. If you don't know what book I'm talking about, You Can Heal Your Life, her, her first major book that put it together, all of her ideas and principles that she had been working with, with her clients for years that helped them heal their lives. So it's extremely valuable. If you go through it and do the exercises and the practices, it will help you change and heal your life. And this is early on in the book because it's very, very powerful. So if you want to make changes, even if you know specifically what they are, let's not focus on specifics right now. Just be willing to change and allow that all to kind of come forward in the order that it's supposed to in the way that it's supposed to that will ultimately work out for your highest good. It's another affirmation that she always has. Mm -hmm. Things are always working out for my highest good. So I'm willing to change and trust that it is all working out for your highest good and take this into the weekend and keep doing it. And you can do it uh, without people noticing. You can just say it silently to yourself. You can do it at home in the mirror. You can just think it. 
but just keep doing it over and over and notice how things start changing. And I know things are going to be moving in, forward for you in a, in a positive direction. So, and I'll keep reporting back to you about all the results that I'm getting too. So you will have some kind of evidence to look at when you are starting to do this for yourself. If you have doubts or you don't think it works or you're just feeling like you don't feel like doing it, this is powerful stuff and it's really, really simple. I'm willing to change. That's all it takes. So try that and let me know what happens. I love your comments. So leave your comments below. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for joining me here again. I really, really appreciate you being here with me. And I appreciate you letting me share these messages, especially these messages inspired by Louise Hay that I'm focusing on a bit since her passing. And um, I hope you're getting something out of them as I am going back over them and recommitting to all of these things. So Thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, Tana Marshall, get on the mailing list. You'll get a message from me every Friday morning with the video before anybody else gets it. And there's a free gift there for you too when you sign up. So thanks again. Have a great weekend. Take this into the weekend with you. I'm willing to change. Let's see what happens. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.